world, it's the HC Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia! Let's go find that beast mark. Gotta get through the Abyssia Forest first. I don't know why they call it the Abyssia Forest. Nothing abyss... Nothing like an abyss around here. But anyway, we got some new enemies over here, so let's show them off. We got bees and flowers, and just like all the other ones, they will explode you! So you want to kill them rather quickly. Army wasps are weak to ice, but I'm not going to put that to use here. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's use burst light because I can't get, well, I could get, what's that one? Will-O-Wisp to work, but I don't want to show this off. Yeah. It's all enemies, 15 MP. can pretty much one-shot anything you're going to run into in uh, Chapter 6 here. So, I mean, obviously not bosses, but it works really, really well. I try to use Will-O-Wisp when I can. Whoa, stay away from me, man. Yeah, you thought my last side LP was the last time you were going to hear that. No. Yeah, we got enemies just hiding around here. At least not dropping down from the ceiling. That was scary, man. Well, watch out for the traps. But yeah, in general, with this party, I recommend, if you can, use Cross Star first, then... If you need to, use Will-O-Wisp, and then Burst Light. Try to save Aruka's MP as much as possible, because there's just going to be some battles where you can't use the other ones. Ha ha. How did I not get into a battle there? Holy cow. I wonder if that riddle was just something they were thinking about, but then they said, nah, nah, we'll... Ah, there it is. Nah, we'll, we'll, we won't... We won't do anything with that riddle. I don't know. It just seems like one of those riddles that was supposed to be something to open up the pathway through the forest, like the Lost Woods or something like that. But, uh, no, nah, it doesn't mean anything here. Sleep, damn you! Now, let's see. You want to be careful here? Where is it? There we go. Yeah, just keep on going back and forth like that. Now, hmm, where is that barrel? I know there's a barrel around here somewhere. I think it's not even hidden. It's just right over here. Yeah. Not even one of those secret barrels just hiding behind the trees. Found that one by accident the first time I played the game. Boom! Why do they have all these traps everywhere anyway? I mean, is there anyone hunting around here besides us? But anyway, here we get the Gaia Blade, what I think is the ultimate weapon for Marco there. It gives him 100 extra HP, and he really doesn't care about attack power, so that's pretty nice. So let's head on over to the right here first. The exit's up there, but uh, now let's go over here first and mow the lawn for the Gootrolls while we're here. It'll help earn their trust, maybe get a little extra allowance money, who knows? I'll be honest, viewers, I've never really mown the lawn in my lifetime. Not really. Uh, we don't really have a lawn. We have other people do it for us. There we go. But anyway. Oh, hey, let's see if I can... Uh... Whoa, hey, I actually got a mana crystal. Well, there you go, viewers. You actually can get one. I did not know that. I always hit those things when I was playing it just for fun. But uh, well, apparently they, they are real. You weren't just pulling my leg, talking out of your ass like I do. But anyway, we got another new enemy around here. What's his name? Uh, uh, yeah, let's use uh, Cross Star. That ought to be enough to take him out. Uh, the piggy does not have any elemental weakness, so I wouldn't worry about that. Let's see. Yeah, blah. There we go. Yeah. So, launch them into the air. Uh-oh. There was a bee behind him. How was I supposed to see that? Nuts. Yeah, you gotta be a little careful like that. I thought Cross Star would be good enough, but no! Okay, there we go. Later on in the game, there's gonna be battles like that where there's an enemy hiding behind another one and you just well, you can't see where they are, unfortunately. So, only way you can tell is with the cursor there. Let's clear the clouds and, uh, you know what? Let's. Let's rest up back at Scala there. I think that would be a good idea. 
Or we could rest up back at Cygnus if you really wanted to. But anyway, yeah, this is a pretty mana intensive party, but really you don't need someone like, say, Marco. Well, yeah, just Marco. <laughs> I was thinking of anyone else who has good assaults, but no, no, not really. But you don't really need him in your party because we can just kill everything right away. I will show you as we go through the, what was that place called? Hothy Runs? Something like that. Hoth Runs. There we go. Uh, if only we could rotate the camera angles ourselves. I like being able to rotate the camera angle. Some people were saying, H.C. Bailey, I don't like... Or, someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, I don't like it when you can rotate the camera angle. They, th they thought it didn't look as impressive, but, uh... Well, whatever. But, I do like it, so... Too bad we don't have it in here. They got it in the Dragon Quest DS game, so I know the system is capable of it, but... Well, let's go on in with Reckless Abandon. Whoa! There's a bunch of Gootrals in there. Nuts. Well, that didn't work out so well. But anyway, we got some new enemies. We got Monks. Um, Migus. Now, don't worry, he, he won't uh, try to use a black hole on you or dark matter. And we got Ice Tail, who's weak to fire. Uh, there's also another variation of the monks called... Oh, what are they called? Kenpo Master, that's it. And they will use... Or no, they can drop a Master Fist, which is a pretty good weapon for Gafka. So if you can get it, great. If not, we'll have another opportunity to get it later. But, well, I'll worry about that when we get to it, so... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I want to use Will-O-Wisp for this one, since they're weak to fire there. There we go. What? How did that deal damage? Oh, right. He used that magic shield thing. That's right. Never mind. Forgot about that one. Well, there we go. Smack him upside the head, Iruka. Ah, shield herbs, right when I don't need them. Oh, well. Okay, I took care of all these guys off screen. There are a whole bunch of them around here. Got a door that we can't get through. Whatever shall we do? Now, this part tripped me up the first time I played the game. Yeah, there's a little switch hidden there on the floor, and you gotta be, like, exactly right on it. It's really, really tiny, even though it looks pretty big on the screen there, but trust me, it, the actual part where you have to stand on is really tiny, so you gotta watch out for that. Well, let's take on some more of these guys. Oh, we got a new enemy here. All right. Let's see, Iron Shell. I think they're weak to fire and poison, if I recall correctly. So, yeah, let's just go with the good old Will O Wisp. I can't get the. Uh, what is it? Cross Star to work in this battle. Oh, well. But I like Will O Wisp. They got really high defense, the Iron Shells. Um, so, you could use poison if you really wanted to. That would kill them. If you don't have Will-O-Wisp for some reason. Doing pretty good on levels so far. They just left their money lying around, apparently. You figure there'd be some Tomb Raiders that would have raided this place already. But in this chest, we get Snow White. And the Seven Dwarves? No. Nah. No, it's a gun, apparently. That has some defense boosting on it, oddly enough. But, uh, nah, nothing I really care about. Magic stat is the way to go for Eureka. Her defense unlike that, is good enough. Okay, let's go. Okay, so, we got another new enemy there. Glass Call. Uh, I don't think they have any elemental weakness, so let's see, can I get... I'm trying to see if I can get a cross star to work. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. But we need to get everyone in a plus formation there. Now, Glass Call has quite a bit of HP, so one cross star, or any of those moves that I was talking about, won't be enough. So, let's use double cross star. See a little more of the background. Why not? I think you can only launch an enemy into the air twice like that. There we go. Man, Rainy really doesn't have that much HP. Or, MP. Compared to Aruka. Oh well. 
Yeah, not going to really be using too much of Rainy for the remainder of the game. I'll use her every now and then, but not very often. We get the Expert Fist, another weapon for Gafka. Might want to hold on to that for later. Whoa. Yeah, I don't need to fight these guys twice. Don't need to tell me twice, either. Oh, man, there's just all sorts of new enemies around here. Why would they be hanging out in a place like this, anyway? I would think it would be really hard to find food around here. If you're a wild animal or something. Well, anyway, got another new enemy. Living Rock. Let's see, I think a Cross Star would work. Or I could use Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, either or. Ah, maybe I should use Cross Star, but... Eh, whatever. There we go. Uh, these battles are just getting so easy at this point. Don't even have to bother with the assaults or anything like that. Oh, you know what? I was just realizing uh, that glass call enemy. Uh, they're, they're the what was that? The pig. They're weak to lightning, and those uh, living rock lizard guys, whatever they were, uh, they're also weak to lightning. So if you care about that, you can. But at this point, elemental stuff eh, it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, took care of all those guys off screen. I'll try to remind you when an enemy has an elemental weakness in case you don't have all these abilities, but really, for the most part, you don't need to pay atten too much attention to them at this point. If you if you know everything about the game, then you can pretty much bypass that part of the strategy. Oh, there's one I forgot up here. Nice. I will kill you all! Okay, cleared all that out. I've got an ASCII map of this place in my text walkthrough, so if you want to find your way around here a little easier, that would be a good way to go. Yeah, I had a hard time the first time I played this game, too. This place is a little mazy. But, uh, nothing we can't handle. Honestly, I'm kind of impressed with my own ASCII map. Took me a while to get the hang of it, but... Oh, nuts. Can't get in there. I'll just tell you, there's a switch down there, but we gotta walk all the way around in order to get it, so... Oh! You know, we're killing all these Gutrals on the way to get this... How do I get the... Ah, there we go. We're killing all these Gutrals on the way to get this beast mark, you know? I don't know, is that, is that really the best way to go about this? I don't know. Maybe it's just me, or maybe they're the ghosts of lost Gutral warriors or something. I don't know. But, ah, there we go. Okay, and if you made your way all around, way around here, you find a switch, and that opens the door up there. But can we win the beast mark to gain the trust of the Gutrals who we just brutally slaughtered to get it? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!